Alright Pistons fans, so in today's video we are going to be talking about Hemadu Diallo again. Now Hemadu, I wanted to make this video because I was thinking about him and I was like, you know, what is the ceiling, what is the potential of someone like Hemadu Diallo? In my personal opinion, I think the ceiling for someone like him, I think is really, really high. Because when you look at his game, think about it, he's someone who's really, really aggressive, who's extremely athletic. You know, he can move up and down the floor with ease. Um, we've seen him in a dunk contest previously a few years ago. We know that this man is extremely athletic. And also with the athleticism of Diallo and the length of Diallo, I feel like he's someone who can have ability on the defensive end of the floor as well. So we have someone who has potential to be a really, really good offensive player and a good defensive player as well. So I see a lot of two-way potential there. He has a nice handle to him. And just overall, right now with his offensive game, I feel like someone like him has the potential to get really, really good in the future. Now, I don't know if it's really going to be on the Pistons because we're going to have someone like Kay Cunningham. We're going to have Killian Hayes. We have Jeremy Grant. You know, we have Frank Jackson. You know, we have a lot of miles to feed. So I don't know if someone like Diallo, you know, if he stays on the Pistons, I don't know if he'll ever get to the level where he can, you know, average 22 points per game or something like that in the 20s. I don't know if he'll ever get there on the Pistons because we have other miles to feed. But, you know, on the Pistons, I do feel like someday he'll be able to be a guy who can get you 17, 18 points per game, you know, coming off the bench or, or being in a starting role on some nights if a, if a guy goes down on injury. I can see him being someone who could get you 17 points on a regular basis. And, you know, I, I am curious, you know, if he ever did decide to leave the Pistons and go to another team, I feel like that would be a possibility where I feel like he can thrive at his best. Because as I just mentioned, we have many mouths to feed. What if he goes to a team that doesn't have players who can score the basketball? What if he goes to a team with a bunch of 3 and D guys and, or a bunch of defenders or a bunch of playmakers and they need a scorer and they could bring in someone like Diallo? Now, if he goes to another team like that, where he has to floor the ball all to himself, then I feel like he can reach that level where he can get to somewhere like 23, 24, 25 points per game. Because guys, I honestly feel like someone like Diallo has a really, really high ceiling if he's put in the right situations, if he does have the ball in his hands, I feel like he can really, really get there and be a really, really good player, maybe even all-star level someday. You know, I don't wanna make too many comparisons, but I, I feel like he can be what DeMar DeRozan should have been. You know, DeMar DeRozan someone who never really developed a three-point shot, he has a decent handle and just overall is similar to Diallo in a few ways, being athletic, being aggressive. But the difference that I think is going to happen is if Diallo goes to a situation where he's the guy, I feel like he can be someone who's a better version of DeMar DeRozan because DeMar DeRozan, I like him, you know, all-star level. But DeMar DeRozan is just someone who I feel like never really got to the level I thought they would have got to because once DeMar DeRozan got on the scene and he became the player that we knew. Now, I always thought that he was good, but I always felt like there was another level that DeMar could have reached being in the weak Eastern Conference. I feel like there was another level to him that he never got to reach on the Raptors and losing to LeBron James. I bet that hurt as well. So someone like DeMar DeRozan, I felt like he never got to reach that level. But someone like Diallo, who's still young, who can go to a team where he could be the man, I feel like that could be a place where he can be a better version of DeMar DeRozan. But again, as far as the Pistons, as far as him staying on the Pistons, if he stays with us, I feel like best case scenario, he can be a guy who comes off the bench, gives you 17 points a night, you know, randomly drops 30, as he did this previous season on the Pistons. And just all in all, I feel like on the Pistons, he can be someone who's a really, really good role player, but I don't know if he's ever gonna get to the level where he's consistently in the 20s because of guys like Kay Cunningham, Jeremy Grant, Sadiq Bey, Killian Hayes, because of those guys, I don't know if he'll ever get to the level where he can be like all-star level. You know, maybe he can, I'm not ruling that possibility out because as I said, he's a really, really talented player, young, athletic, got skill, aggressive, scores inside. You know, I'm not saying that that's out of the realm of possibility. I'm just saying that with all the miles to feed, I don't know if he'll ever get to the highest level. But I do, you know, if I were to put it somewhere, I don't know if he'll ever get up here, but I do think he'll get somewhere right here, which is not a bad place to be. So Pistons fans, let me know how y'all feel about Hamadou Diallo. Let me know how y'all feel about the potential of someone like Diallo and where he could be if he stays on the Pistons and where he could be if he decides to ever leave Detroit. So let me know how y'all feel in the comment section below. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank y'all for 2K and I'm out.